At a time when computer science affects how we work and live, here at Worcester Technical High School, we offer computer science pathway that empowers students to become creators instead of just mere consumers of the technology around them. The program's interdisciplinary courses engage students in compelling real-world challenges. As students work together to design solutions, they learn computational thinking, not just how to code, but become better thinkers and communicators. Students take from the courses the in-demand knowledge and skills that they will use in high school for the rest of their careers and lives. So let's take you on a short tour of Computer Science Pathway. program offer four courses, Computer Science Essentials for 9th grade, CSP and CSA for 10th and 11th grade, and finally Cybersecurity for 12th grade. Throughout computer science class, we completed many projects. Being able to create applications of our choice made learning fun. I created a tourism map of Snow Hill. I was very proud to show what my community had to offer. And the fact where you press that button and there's voice recognition and text-to-speech feature where um, when you ask a question, it will pop up and then um, your answer will display on the top and it will say. Hello parents, guardians, and students. I am so excited to talk to you about our Computer Science Project Lead the Way program. And I get to teach the two AP courses in the program, which is the only STEM Academy here at Worcester Tech that offers AP classes. So AP stands for Advanced Placement. They are college level classes and are nationally recognized with tests at the end of the semester. I teach AP Computer Science Principles, which is mostly Python. We do talk a little bit about artificial intelligence with some NetLogo um, examples. But with Python, students get an opportunity to create their own programs. The only AP that is like that. My experience in the Computer Science program has made me more confident with my problem solving abilities. We've learned skills that we can apply to a wide range of fields and interests. In sophomore year, I created a project. It was a math test. It asked the user 10 questions and scored them at the end. I was really happy with the final product, and I'm proud to say I scored a 5 on the AP exam. If you're interested in computer science, I highly recommend taking this program. Uh, my AP Computer Science A class has been around for a while, and we teach good old Java. Java is a strong programming language that really depends a lot on memory understanding of the memory in computers. So we really get to get into the memory of a computer. Computer science is one of those that can change a lot or be around a long time like Java. So to be able to prepare students to have that constant updating but still holding on to the memory location has been my goal as a teacher and to prepare your students for whatever gives them in their next steps. All that I learned in this program is helping me in the cybersecurity program I am currently pursuing at Capital Technology University. My degree is Management of Cybersecurity and Information Technology. This program plays a significant part in cybersecurity and computer science and I'm still using the material I learn in class in the courses I am taking. This program is essential to anyone pursuing a cybersecurity or computer science degree, and I strongly recommend the program to anyone who wants to do so. A lot of our work is project-based, which is great because it allows students to explore things that they're interested in and actively problem-solve. And also in this class, we used a lot of diverse platforms, starting with block-based mobile games and ending with text-based Python code. And this was great because we could experience many different aspects of computer science, which can in the future give us more diverse resumes and skill sets. 
And it's also just really fun to learn different and interesting tools. Another thing I really appreciate is the opportunities to show off computing outside of school. Ms. Sang Wan has talked to me about specific opportunities for girls, including Girls Go Cyber, and she helped me get a nomination for NCWIT, a community for women in computing. This class is great because it not only gives you skills that will be useful later if you continue in computer science, but it's also really fun. to the future opportunities, exposure, and achievement awaits you. Hi, my name is Shelly Mason, and I'm one of the counselors here at Worcester Tech. By now, you've been introduced to five of our over 20 programs. We'd like to invite you to learn about the remaining programs at our website. There you'll find detailed information, course descriptions, and further instructor videos that will assist you on fully understanding what the Worcester Tech experience is all about. So what's next? Well, what we'd like to do is help you determine what pathway is for you. Maybe you've already done that, but most students don't have any idea um, which career direction they want to take. So this is such an important part of your educational process that we've actually provided a tool to help you do that on our website. So there you'll see a tab called Parent and Student Resources, and under that you'll see College and Career Planning. And there you'll find a planning exploration activity. And it's filled with tools and resources that will help you determine um, what parts of your personality and your interests and strengths match what careers. And then there's also research tools there where you can type in any career and it'll tell you anything you possibly want to know about that. So once you've done those activities there, you hopefully will have some clarity about the direction that you're going in. The next resource that's there is a tool called um, High School Planning, High School Course Planning Sheet. And what that will help you do is to keep your end goal in mind and use your high school experience and your plan of study to meet that goal. So hopefully you'll find those tools valuable. If you work through those tools and you find that one of our programs here at Worcester Tech are for you, we will be delighted. And then you're probably asking, so what do I do now? Well, registration um, for a course here at Worcester Tech is easy. If you're an eighth grader presently, there's a link and a QR code at the end of this presentation, and you'll utilize that. However, if you're presently a 9th grade, 10th grade, or an 11th grade student, you'll simply make your request on your course request sheet that your high school counselor will give you. Now, sometimes those requests are made through PowerSchool, and you'll do the same thing. You'll just choose those courses for that program, and then that summer will take care of the rest for you. So, I hope this was helpful. Um, regardless of what pathway you choose today, we here at Worcester Tech would be delighted to help you. Um, please feel free to reach out to us and we wish you the best.